Yakima has an attachment for the racks called the showboat, which makes it easier to load kayaks from the back of a vehicle. I wanted to buy one, but they were all out of stock at every store near me and at the factory too. So I decided to build a rear loading tool instead. At first I was going to make a video with step-by-step -step instructions adding bits of wisdom, but decided not to because it would be long and boring. This video shows the concept of the design. If you build one like this, make sure you use materials that will support the weight of your boat and not damage your vehicle. I will not be responsible for what you build. I use scrap materials that were in my garage, so the only cost to build this was my time. One advantage of the homemade version, besides the price, is that the roller is lower to the ground in the showboat so you don't have to lift the end of the kayak as high. One disadvantage is that it is not stored neatly under the racks like the showboat. It's made out of an 8 foot 2x2 two two cut in half. The crossbars are a couple of steel tent poles that I salvaged a while back. To make it easier to push a boat onto the car, I made a roller. The roller is just a piece of PVC pipe which I slid over the crossbar. To protect my vehicle, I slid a pool noodle over the other crossbar. The roof of my car is curved, so when I use a single piece of pool noodle, the whole lifting tool was not stable and easily bent to one side when I loaded the kayak. To fix the problem, I used bigger diameter pool noodles on the ends of the crossbar so that it sat flush on the top of the car. The easiest way to mount the crossbar is to simply drill a hole through the crossbars in 2x2s and bolt it on. But if you just bolt on the crossbar, the tube will deform when you tighten the bolts and it may make everything loose. To avoid that, you can flatten the ends of the tube first. If you choose to flatten the ends of the tube, you should do so after you slide the PVC pipe on, otherwise it won't fit. The problem with building it this way though is that you have to drill a hole in the 2x2s and that weakens them. I chose to screw brackets on the 2x2 so I wouldn't weaken them as much. You can make this using any number of brackets or combinations of brackets. Here's some that you can get at your local hardware store or big box store. I prefer to use scrap and this is a piece of angle iron that I have left over from a different project a while back and I prefer to use the scrap not only to save money but also if I don't use my scrap my wife will make me get rid of it all. 